three weeks are left until the beginning of the Summer Olympic Games in Brazil. The main sport event of the season starts in Rio de Janeiro on 5th of August. Ukrainian team will participate in the Olympics for the sixth time since Ukraine gained independence. Famous Ukrainian designer Andrei Tan elaborated the uniform for the delegation members. Colored traditionally in blue and yellow, this time the clothing is said to be extremely patriotic and festive. This is the daily uniform the sportsmen are supposed to perform in. Blue and yellow t-shirts and tracksuits with specially elaborated prints on it are produced on a factory close to Kyiv. Each and every detail here is handmade. Women in turn may choose between yellow dresses and combinations of t-shirts and trousers. Whatever format to choose, it is the best uniform, says Ukrainian gymnast Anna Rizadinova. I like it very much. It is not only beautiful and trendy, but also very comfortable and inspiring. I hope it will encourage us all to struggle for the medals. Andre Tan has been working over the project for nine months. At first, the designer elaborated the sketches, then followed the thorough process of choosing the right fabric. Eventually discussed various models with the sportsmen themselves. Women are the most capricious, as usual. Imagine, nearly every female in our team tried to offer her own model of the uniform. But I managed to convince them their task is to win the medals, and I am supposed to do my working part. Blue and yellow colors have accompanied Ukrainian sport team from the very beginning. In 1996, in Atlanta, the Ukrainians wore beige suits with blue and yellow ties and hats. In 2000, the Olympics took place in Sydney. Beige trousers were accompanied with blue jackets and blue and white ties. 2004, Athens, Greece. Blue suits, checked ties and white shirts, women wearing beige suits and carrying blue and yellow scarves. 2008, Beijing, the whole delegation wearing blue and yellow suits. 2012, London, motley male shirts, white jackets and national symbols everywhere. The head of Ukrainian Olympic Committee, Serhii Bubka, says they wasted, they spent no single hryvnia from the state budget. Instead, the uniform production was financed by a good deal of sponsors. Now, he adds, the Ukrainian sportsmen are to fulfill their task, that is to bring home as many awards as possible, preferably golden.